Good morning. Today's date is December 4th, 2015. This is your WBHS News and I'm Sydney Close. Anyone interested in having a part in this year's Christmas video, please see Mr. Davenport as soon as possible. All seniors are encouraged to start bringing in pictures for the Flashback Friday video. And I'm Hannah Petrosky. Any junior wanting to be on prom committee can pick up a form in Miss Porter's room. You must have sold $100 worth of Sarah's candy to qualify. Filled out forms can be turned into Miss Scanner. The Bridgeport High School Interact Club will once again be ringing the bell for the Salvation Army at Respects this holiday season on December 2nd, 9th, and 16th. Sign up today in room 611 for your one-hour shift. Let's help make Christmas a little brighter this year for those in need. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Smack you! <laughs> Mama don't like you, and she likes everyone. I know what I came to do, and that ain't gonna change. And I'm Jace Johnston with your sports. The boys' basketball team has a game tonight against Toronto at 7. Today's weather will be sunny with a high of 47 and a low of 32. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 49 and a low of 34. And Sunday will be cloudy with a high of 49 and a low of 35. The lunch for today will be cheeseburger on bun, baked beans, mixed green salad, and mixed fruit. Saturday, November 28th, Irene Winsheimer passed away after being with Bridgeport Schools for 45 years. We will all miss her. Karen Dijon Domenico was able to give us some of Miss Winsheimer's favorite sayings and advice she would always give everyone. She would always say, we're getting nowhere fast. She always said her weekends were fast and furious. Three things of advice Miss Winsheimer would give to us is to live in a two-story house, always keep moving, don't fret about birthdays, at least you're having one. I interviewed a few students and teachers and asked about their favorite memories about her. Would you like to share a favorite memory of Miss Winsheimer? Sure. When I was in office aid last year, a student came in late and she asked him why I was late and he said his alarm clock was broken and she responded with, well, you better ask for one for Christmas and that was the funniest thing I've ever heard. It was hilarious. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite memory of Mrs. Winsheimer, but I'll just remember her as being um, a very classy lady. Uh, my definition of a lady is Mrs. Winsheimer. She took a lot of pride in her family and a lot of pride in her work. Um, she never, never missed work, you know. She was always here. Um, I've known her for a long time. I used to go to Sunday school with her, her girls, and she was a Sunday school teacher at the church that I used to go to. So she's always been involved in, you know, church and school, and she's just, just your typical classy lady, and she's definitely going to be missed, you know, by everyone, especially us at school here, so... My favorite memory is when I go into the office randomly and just get candy for no reason. And she'd always refill the bowl knowing I'd come in to get more. I loved it. Yes, I would. Miss Irene and I have worked together for many, many years. I will dearly miss her. She was always dressed for the season, the event that we had. She 
you guys won't know this, but she only missed two homecoming dances the whole time I've been here. And that was because she had family obligations. So um, she used to use a manual typewriter. It's only recently she went to an electric typewriter and I used to always remember her typing away at things, uh, purchase orders and all that stuff. Um, it was funny watching her learn to use the iPad. Okay. But most of all, what I'm gonna miss is coming into school every morning. She's not gonna be there to greet me, to ask me about my family, what did I do over the weekend or whatever. And just sharing um, discussions about friends, family, things that are going on. So I'm really gonna miss that. Yeah, she was always there to give me advice when I needed it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a, uh, a favorite memory as much as uh, just the fact I'm going to miss her. Um, I think I've known Mrs. Winsheimer for probably 35 years, and I, I, I've never known her to say a, a mean word to anyone. Um, I'm going to miss our, our morning conversations at 6.30, um, the, the type of person she was, um, how she always asked about my family. And in particular my daughters and now my granddaughter and how she was sincerely interested in everything that, that people did around here. Uh, she was definitely a true bulldog and I'm really going to miss her. Thank you.